choosing between CRNA and CAA as a non-nurse. Here are some numbers that I would be personally considering if I was thinking about making this career move. So CRNA programs are typically between three and four years, and you have to be an RNBSN, which takes about 12 to 18 months if you do an accelerated program for non-nurses. CAA programs take between 24 and 28 months, so about two years, and you do not already have to be a registered nurse. So total time and training for a person with a bachelor's degree but a non-nurse to become a CRNA would be between four at the very kind of unrealistic low end to six years, which is much more realistic, not even including gap years and application cycles and that kind of thing. Whereas for CAA, it would be approximately two years. Now CRNA does have a lot of advantages compared to CAA, as you can see in the comment there, working independently. They do make about the same amount of money unless they're working independently. Also CRNAs are employable in all 50 states, whereas CAAs at this time, according to this person, is only in 22 states. So there are certainly a lot of advantages, but is that worth committing five-ish, maybe six-ish years? At that point, personally, I would just probably go to medical school four years plus a three to four year residency. I don't know. I think personally that would be more worth it than committing six years, becoming a nurse, going to CRNA school after the necessary one, probably at least two to three years of ICU experience. Me personally, that's what I would do if I wanted to get into anesthesia, but I don't know. What do you think? What would you do?